Hi, in this video we'll look at how we can use the customer lifetime value free template available in the description below to calculate the CLV for both uh, a new customer and for an existing customer base. Let me flick to something else. I've just set up these two examples outside the template to show you what we're trying to do. So for new customers, say typically we spend $100,000, we acquire so many customers at that acquisition cost, which is obviously a calculation, um, just dividing it. And then our customers bring in $500 a year. That's our retention rate. And then that allows us to work out the, the lifetime period, which is available in another video. And then we just multiply the 500 by that to get a profit over time. And then we deduct off the acquisition cost to, uh, to work that out. So basically that's for new customers. And then we've got this for existing customers. We already have them. So there's no acquisition cost. Uh, these numbers are identical, except I already have them. We're looking at what we have this year. So I've taken one year off because we've already generated that profit for one year. Okay. How about going forward? Okay. And what we'll find is, um, we make that sort of money. And that's the, there's no acquisition cost. So CLV is the, the profit going forward. So let's me flick back to the free template. So this is how you would set it up. I've set up the numbers, 100,075 new customers and 500 going forward. And, uh, we just go down. There is the output. And, uh, we've, before the acquisition cost, we get that amount. And after the acquisition cost is 333, which matches before and 3.3 and there's no discount rates in here so i haven't done that calculation so that's for new customers so if we wanted to look at existing customers all i would do is take out basically take out the acquisition cost so acquisition cost is now zero and we're already in u1 we're already realized that amount of money so i take that out and uh, there we have that one one six seven i'll just go back to the other spreadsheet which is that calculation there so as you can see basically all that's happening is we're removing the acquisition cost and we're removing the first year of profitability and we can get both uh why is there such a difference because we have basically spent that money uh a significant acquisition cost relative to the uh, overall profitability but now over here we can almost treat it as a sunken cost. We can't recover it. So um, these customers will make over $1,000 going forward. So can we enhance that? Is that worth investing a bit more? Uh, again, the, the free templates in the link below.